What's poppin' Slick Block? It's your boy, D-Wise Gamer. And we're back with some more Pokemon Let's Go. Let's Go. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield Sword version. The last time we were playing, we went through Route 6 and made it to a bee's town, Bay's town. Uh, the fighting gym leader. And uh, I accidentally triggered Hop and I was trying to enter a building. So, we're gonna talk to that nigga. Speaking of which, I did not know how hated Hop is. Like, apparently, a lot of niggas hate the fuck out of Hop. Alright? Like, I get it, right? You know, he's a uh, weak rival. Right? You know, that's. That's what the term is for rivals who intentionally peak pick weaker Pokemon than you, right? Or that aren't complete assholes. It's, they're just weak rivals, right? Especially compared to gold. Or no, I believe it's I believe it's silver, right? Because gold's the main character in silver and gold, or gold silver, right? And uh blue right so silver and blue right really laid the foundation for what people feel like rivals should be which is assholes right but then in ruby sapphire diamond pearl black white x y and even uh, sun and moon the uh, rivals have been well not assholes friendly nice easy to beat and like people don't like that so they I guess what ended up happening is that the players took it upon themselves to be the asshole rivals you know but like, I don't get all the hate for Hop. Because generally, like, you know, I like Hop. And it's not because I'm black and Hop's black. All right, that I like Hop. I like Hop because I understand the feeling of wanting to be as good or not being your brother's shadow. You know what I'm saying? I understand that, granted. My belief is a bit different from Hop. And the fact that I don't idolize my brother. I love my brother to death. I don't idolize him, right? You know, my brother's like, back in the day, he was a professional uh, Yu-Gi-Oh player. And you know, I used to love Yu-Gi-Oh. I still do. If I still had my deck, I would probably be going to local competitions and shit to play. But I don't, so. Yeah. So, you know, I've always wanted to, like, be better than him at Yu-Gi-Oh. In Yu-Gi-Oh. What the fuck? I just... Anyway. So, like, I understand Hop's mentality. Alright. Why he would pick the weaker Pokemon to you? Because he's trying to make it harder on himself. You know, to really experience and train. It's like purposely giving yourself a handicap to make the difficulty harder. Right? Of course he could have picked the Pokemon stronger than you. And had an easier time. But he's trying to prove himself. Not only to himself, but to his brother. And his family. Right? And I can only respect that from Hop. But nah, man. Apparently people don't like Hop. Alright. And I don't get it. I always figured people wouldn't like Leon. Alright, because I just don't like Leon's outfits. I just figured other people wouldn't like Leon. Now, like, he's a cool character, right? But his, his outfit is just killing it for me. Like, I like him. I don't respect him. I respect Hop and I like Hop. But apparently I'm like in the minority for that shit. Which is just weird to me, man. 
Like, I literally saw, like, two or, two or three different videos of people just literally bullying Hop. And, uh, one of them was, uh, this, where you and Hop take on Team Yell. I literally watched this one video where dude just completely focused on, uh, Hop's Pokemon. And just killed all of Hop's Pokemon before taking on Team Yell. And this other video, I saw this one chick just berating a hop as she beat him, you know? And I get it, you know, it's, it's satire. You're supposed to be funny. Because even I myself found it weird. But like in that first hop battle, how he's like, oh, this is a close match. But like I had like four or five Pokemon and only used one. You know? But it's style, like, you know, that's what he's supposed to say. You know? And, you know, whenever you are close to losing, you feel like, damn, this is a close match. All right, no one's going to admit to themselves when they're losing. Man, I'm completely getting my ass beat. You know, it's part of the human nature and pride. But yeah, man, a lot of people don't like hop. You know, from my understanding, you know, it could just like I be a lot of, you know, rhetorical satire. Where they actually do like Hop, they're just making fun of him. But yeah, man. I don't get the Hop hate. Like I said, it could be me mis- yeah. It could be me misunderstanding. But like, the way I look at- The way I look at this, like, you get- You get three rivals. In this game. You get Hop, who's like your best friend, you know, from next door. You get Marnie, who's like the famous, because she has a fan base. You know, the famous miss. You know, kind of like Gary or Blue. But she's not an asshole. She's, um, what's the word? I'm not going to say she's uh, introverted, right? What's the word? I said it for Milo. Milo. Um. <sighs> Mellow? She's just cool, you know? She's not arrogant, she's cool. And then there's Beatty. And Beatty's supposed to be the asshole rival. You know, looking down on you, talking shit to you. You know, he's supposed to be the one who fills in that niche for an asshole. But I guess it's because I recognize Beatty and Marnie as my other rivals. As well as Hop. That I just, I don't have a problem with Hop. I guess other people only see Hop as their rival? I don't know. Right. Like I said, I feel bad for Hop. Hop's character arc so far. It's been like the best. Cause like we don't have a character arc. Like our character has no character. <laughs> it's just us playing through him. Alright, but like Hop, you know, from the beginning, right, where he was all high spirited and ready to take on the world to being brutally crushed by BD, who's trash in comparison to us. So it's all right, let me just rephrase that. We take on the world to be crushed by us, all right, which is okay because you know, we're his best friend, right, to then being crushed by a complete asshole who, before being crushed by, before he was crushed by, he knows didn't even stand a fraction of a chance to his best friend, all right, which means that now, the gap between him and his best friend is widening, you know. It was cool when he lost to us. You know, at least, you know, that means we're in the same ball range. But then when he was crushed by someone we crushed, he realizes that we're not even in the same ball range. He's in, like, he's still at the starting line. And then on top of that, with Beanie being an asshole, 
and talking about all that shit about how you're just dragging your brother's name through the mud, you piece of shit, trash. You know, he's worrying about his family name as well as the fact that how can he claim to be our number one rival when he was beat by someone we beat? You see what I'm saying? And so this whole, like, character arc of starting out headstrong to being humble. That's what I was looking for. For, uh, Mer for Marnie. She's humble. Even though she has these crazy fans who are really, like, stand in the middle of the road, block other niggas for her. She has a moment under that, alright? She doesn't even get why they're doing all that for her. And that's like, I like that about her. She's fucking adorable, as I said. I don't know, man. I just like Hop's character development so far, man. I hope, right, you know, after this downhill, he gets like a bit more self confidence later on, and he realizes that he is that nigga. You know? So what? I'm not the champion. So what? You know, I lost the BD. At least the champion acknowledged me as his rival. You know what I'm saying? When that does happen. When we end up becoming champion and you know we crush his brother I, I hope before that you know he gets his confidence back but yeah man I don't get the hate for Hop man I like Hop's character story hell I even like BD's character story because I understand BD I understand you know coming from that coming from poverty with nothing to being acknowledged and given something and they wanted to prove that you were worthy of the acknowledgement I get it now, I don't feel like you should be such an asshole about it but again I understand how that could happen see look at that you see like how can you hate this nigga how like I know his facial expression didn't really change much, but the way he just looked down at the ground, I mean, it would be even worse like if he just kind of slumped over a little bit. You can really see the dejection. At least you can feel it. I can feel it. Like how he's still down and he's not sure of himself. And he's even saying it. Like, think about it from the beginning how he was all excited all gung-ho and now look at him that character arc has been beautifully done you know see yeah exactly Okay, I don't think that's the way to go about it, but sure. Because you're just going to get crushed, but... Hopefully you'll learn something, dog. I feel like what would have made that moment better... Is if instead of challenging you... He's like, I'm just going to go try a bunch of random things in the wild and see what happens and sticks. And then he just left. You don't know if he got his badge or not. You don't know if he even participated. It would even left your mind wondering, is he dropping out of the competition? Right? That could play it on the, you know, the heartstrings a bit. But if you could go in and see BD, BD, you see Bay. you know, ask her if she was challenged by Hop. Yeah, she was like the other uh, uh, league champion um, uh, endorsement trainer. No, he hasn't challenged me yet. And that could add even more to the questions and mystery. You know, anyway, that's besides the point. I could have went that route, but I guess that would have been too dark or too much suspense. Hey, Raven? He sent out... All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting, and I couldn't finish winning that. 
Did you know that apparently a uh, cramorant will sometimes appear with a Pikachu in his mouth? Or you can find them in the wild with Pikachus in their mouth? That's fucking insane to me. Alright, let's hone Claude up. And yeah, I'm just gonna use this one Pokemon. I'm gonna feel like shit about it. Alright. Going underwater. My weak to water types is a steel type. I can't remember. I know electricity doesn't really do much. Fire, I think, is what it is. I'm at two. How do you get a Pikachu from underwater? That's my question. Hon claw. Hon claw, that's right. Put that hun on your claws, man. Yeah, I do feel like, like, let me rephrase this. They could have pulled out or extended. Hop's uh, uncertainty for like another gem or two, right? So the fighting gem, right? And then I guess the rock gem, they could have been, they could have like extended that. And then once we got back to the dragon gem, we could see that he got his, and maybe they still will, right? After we beat him, and he realizes that, you know, there aren't no gimmicks. To this shit. Alright, it's just hard work and dedication. You know, and he finds his groove again before taking on the, the dragon gym leader. Power trip. You know what I'm saying? They could have did it like that. And in between time, you're not battling him. battle Marini and Beedy. Oh, you did catch that silly cobra. You can't figure you'd catch it. I did. Hey, I have a Toxel too. Mine's is female. I want to see it's going to be have a high key form. Also, I lied to you guys. My Toxel evolved at 31. And I think that was part 13. The part right before part 14. I think Tox actually evolved after fighting Nessa. During her gym battle. Hey man. Hmm. Look at that face. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out the potential in every matchup, but... You just couldn't get together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. <laughs> I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder and harder and harder till no one's laughing. 
I'm off, mate. I have to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. We got B's lead card. Now you go on, child. You are at the still on site gym next, no? The gym challenge is about having fun. Are you the next gym leader? You shouldn't be. That's obviously B's gym. Oh, you gave me B's. Give me B's card. My parents be trained hard with their partner Pokemon since a very young age. This has honed her judgment skills, and she's able to remain calm and collected, even facing dire situations in battle. This leader, many think. This leads me to think she lacks emotion, but the truth seems to be that she doesn't want to show weakness. She is sometimes known to show her true feelings for her partner, Pokemon during battle. She's secretly a huge fan of various sweets, and this has recently been found out by her fans. The additional attention has made enjoying sweets a little difficult. She has a sweet tooth too, eh? Ryan! Wait, what did I say the legs too? Next three, right? Because I got three, three. No, he said you need seven. Because he's the eighth gym badge. So you got three, right? That means the next four. Still, no, the next two would have worked. Then at the third gym, where you get your sixth gym badge, you know, he comes back, you know, he's like, yeah, I got it. What was I reading? Yellow region, he has striven for victory in every environment, and as a result, he has adapted the battle style where he utilizes his weather effects to their fullest. It is rumored that he could easily become another region's champion should he choose to move, but it seems that to Ryan, defeating Leon is much more important. His uploaded selfies are quite popular. Occasionally, he'll post a photo that only shows a standstorm. So he's an internet celebrity? An Instagram model? Opal. Alright, I need your shit. It's the oldest gym leader in the Gala region. She took over for her mother 70 years ago. Goddamn. And has kept the position since. However, she feels that her own values have reached their limit. And that she is currently looking for a worthy successor. She claims that she gives deliberately tricky quizzes because people reveal their true colors when in a pinch. But many spectate that in reality she does it out of pure spite. Yeah, I guess she's the, what, ghost? Poison gym leader? Wait, did Beatty sign his shit? I just realized that. Not everybody signs their card. Or does everybody sign their card? It seems like they do. I like his signature. It looks like a dragon. That's really deliberate. I guess everyone does, besides us. Only we don't sign our shit. Heh, who knows? Who knows? There we go. What's poppin'? Oh! That's what we got. Wait. You didn't get fly from here. Huh. I would love to teach Corviknight fly. Wait, hold it. You can learn fly glosses? Why can you learn fly? What? Bruh. You don't know how bad I want to teach you fly. Why can you learn that? Why the fuck could he learn that? 
failed me. I I got, oh god. I guess, you know what, yeah, yeah. Fuck drill pick, we'll learn fly. I'll just have to home clawed up, get my accuracy all the way up, you know what I'm saying? And not immediately. Oh god, okay. Fuck what I'm thinking, man. I believe that if I go right here. Huh, cracked pot. What is that? that's for so they could only evolve that way huh that's crazy they, they can only evolve if you have a cracked pot man that's really crazy to me look at that pokeball rare bones I'm about to take on the gym challenge. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I do. I got plenty of time. I named this episode Poor Poor Hop. I really feel bad for Hop, man. I feel bad for his character development. You know, like how he has to suffer this traumatic experience due to BD. I feel bad for the fact that apparently a lot of people don't like him. I just don't get it. I also feel bad for the fact that he's never going to be champion because I'm just not going to allow it. Is the gym open or is it closed? Is BB? Is Bay in there? Or is she not? Where is Bay at? No, I get it. A sword and shield that rests in the field of flowers. It's also referring to the legend of the so legendary sword and shield. I get it. Even though it looks like a kid's drawing, but I get it. Flying fists coming right at you. A heavy ball to catch heavy Pokemon. I am. I do love my heavy Pokemon. I like trying to pick them up. Oh man, you're still here? He actually made it to here? <sighs> the saw on the telly! That's right, I'm that nigga. I already have the ghost, I already have. Not that. I'm on the psychic. I mean, I can afford quite a few of these. I'm gonna buy the electric. Alright, yeah, let's see here. Flying, nah, not yet. 
kind of still want that poison though, man. Look at that. That shit looks sick. Ah, oh, shit. I'm broke again. Cap, I'm broke again, man. I stay losing all my money, nigga. I can't keep no money, man. I keep buying all this shit I don't need. Sell something. I think I got like three rare bones. Let me sell you, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take all these. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. I knew that would be enough, nigga. Yeah. So I got some revival herbs. Got some uh, energy roots. Worst case, from the worst, we can sell those too. Yeah, yeah, I can sell those two. And I wasn't gonna buy, was it the steel? I about the electric, right? I about the poison, the flying. Eh. Is it the psychic or the steel? Which one do I want? I don't want this. But, uh, ugh. Let's go with the poison. Let's go with the poison. I mean the psychic. Let's go with the psychic. I like that purple. All right. Now I'm about to go somewhere. I have to change my kicks real quick. I'm changing my costume up. Where can I go to change clothes? Here. <laughs> Hammerlock. That's where I go to change clothes. Psychedelic. Mm, I like ghost stuff, but no. I'm aware of that. And, uh, the track suit. Mm, I don't worry about the track suit. We'll keep that going. I guess those still fit that better now. So I put on these denim jeans. Like, I go here and I put on. Put these on. I go here. Sport like wear electric. I 
Yeah, I guess the electric leggings look the best. Wait a minute, hold it. Where's the electric? Well, I just had it. Yeah. Let me put on these. Black or blue? I want black. I got a poison bag. I could also put on. Where's the normal yellow one? Now, did I buy the purple bucket hat? Yes, I did. They had it on both hands. I don't know what's with this one glove shit. I just put on these navy plaid gloves again. Yeah. That's nice. I might even put back on the blue jeans. Should I put the neck cap back on, man? Look at it, bad. I like it. Yeah. I'm going with this. This is my new fit. Alright, now we're going back to the, uh... Back to B's gym. Bay's gym. Name this episode the B Gym Challenge, Bay Gym Challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and comment. Subscribe to Joy Slick Block and Deuces SPM. <sighs> DYS Gamer is out. Peace.